Hello and welcome to the Christmas edition of Faith and Friends. We've been talking about it for weeks, building up to it. Just like we, last week, we brought you a sneak peek of the high school choirs and the holiday music festival. And here we are. It's the week of Christmas. And we've got a special snowman I guest. I brought a friend along here. This is courtesy of my neighbors. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ho ho. We have a fifth co we have a fifth host on Faith and Friends today. Doesn't really say much, does he? I'll say whatever you want him to say. See? Oh, he must be related to the teachers in Charlie Brown Christmas special. <laughs> Something like that. I think this is the younger sibling of <laughs> Okay, is he we singing? need we need to turn him off. <laughs> He's gonna sit right here with me throughout the show. But you turned him off. <laughs> I don't think we want him to be on. As we've been building up to Christmas with holiday music, we're continuing more Christmas specials this week as two Christian artists, one sibling band from Botkins and one solo artist from right here in the Lima area and a supporting actor that might be on our set right now have <laughs> recently put out some Christmas cover videos. Uh, Zach, uh, <laughs> did I catch you in that one? I didn't realize we we're going to be talking about this. <laughs> Yes. Let's turn him back on. Huh? Yeah, right. He can tell the story. <laughs> My wife and I, we did do, she did a cover of uh, a well-known Christmas song. We had a lot of fun with it, so definitely looking forward to that. I hope that you guys enjoy that. But both of those Christmas videos coming up, and you know, we're going to be back in the kitchen again this show. Yes. But this time, it's with a very super, super simple recipe that might ice? be, <laughs> it's borderline, it's very close to ice. That maybe We're gonna show you the entire process. So <laughs> sit back and relax. It's gonna be perfect if you have any last minute holiday dinner plans, Andy, I know you're going to like it. It involves bacon. Which so. our cameraman Luke says he found a story on the internet that bacon is very healthy. So we're gonna enjoy lots you of bacon. Probably find a story on the internet for anything. <laughs> Before we do all of that, we do want to start with our scripture, and so Mark, would you... You can find the scripture on the internet, but unlike a lot of the things on the internet, scripture is true. Our verses for today come from Luke chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And of course, that child, that baby, was Jesus, and that is the reason why we celebrate Christmas, the birth of Jesus, as he grew up and became the man, half man, half God, and saved us from our sins through his sacrificial death on Easter. That's all part of the, the Christmas story. And what we really want to be celebrating and focusing on this week is we have all types of celebrations and all types of festivities and gatherings. But let's not forget that, that precious child, that his birth that we are celebrating at this time. Absolutely. What was that night like, the night Jesus was born? Well, this time of year, there are so many songs designed to take us back to that very first night when Jesus was born here on earth. Well, one of the most well-known is O Holy Night. Christian band City of Bright, based in nearby Botkins, is one of the latest to record their beautiful harmonies on this Christmas classic. Teaming with fellow musical artist Hannah Schaefer, we start off our Christmas Faith and Friends Week with their video, which to date has been viewed close to 20,000 times. <laughs> Here now is City of Bright with Hannah Schaefer with O oh Holy Night.
always nice to hear some of the Christmas classics mm. there and to celebrate our Savior. Well, earlier this month, sensational singer David Phelps wowed a sold-out crowd. Jennifer was there with a... She was wowed. She was wowed <laughs> with her, his own rendition of Oh Holy Night. It was just one of the many songs during his latest visit to Nicewanger Performing Arts Center in Van Wert. David Phelps concert was sold out. So was the Mercy Me concert earlier in the month. In Jennifer fact, was also there. I was too. It was good. In fact, I was wowed. Let me, let, me, let me put that in there. In fact, last year, the Newsboys concert sold out in a matter of minutes. Christian concerts at the Nice Swanger. Jennifer mm -hmm. has more in today's OIO in the community feature. Even though their tickets promised reserved seating, they were waiting waiting more than 30 minutes before doors opened to get into the Nicewanger Performing Arts Center. This beautiful music hall, situated in the small town northwest community of Van Wert, becomes aglow with activity almost any night a concert is underway. And always the Nicewanger concert season includes several Christian events. We're always looking for people that are cordial to work with and that's very important to us. And we also feel that being here in Northwest Ohio and especially in the Van Wert, Lima area, we know that uh, the uh, people are, are, are very uh, solid Christian based and we, we know that it's a good base, but it's something that we literally want to do also. On this particular night, legendary tenor David Phelps impacted a sold-out crowd with his incredible vocal range, a range only magnified due to the splendor of the auditorium acoustics. So when we step into a hall, a beautiful hall like this one, I mean, it is, it is gorgeous and rare to, to be in a place like this. And then uh, we have a full house of people who are cheering us on, who are participating in the evening. It is, it is a feeling like none other. Phelps isn't the only one experiencing an engaging crowd. The Mercy Me concert just one week prior was also sold out. Last year, Newsboys sold out in 15 minutes time. This farming community of only 10,000 people now attracts concert goers from all around the region and even in other states. And while every season at the Nicewanger will include a variety of musical styles and special speakers, Hoverman says the overall goal is to provide a family-friendly experience, which is just one of the reasons Christian concerts and speakers fit in so well. Um, even throughout our nine years, we've had a number of them, and they always sell well, which tells us a number of things, that there is an excellent market for Christian music, and it tells us that people of faith support musicians and entertainers of faith and we really like that uh, not only from a musical standpoint because they're outstanding musicians but because of the message that they portray. Still to come during this 2015-2016 season Natalie Grant and speaker Luke Zamperini both in March. But now let's jump back to earlier in December when I had a chance to take the stage with Mercy Me. Here with Mercy Me at the sold out event at the Nice Wonder Performing Arts Center. I've got De Faith and Friends junior reporter Abby with me as well. First of all, guys, just give me an update. I saw you on the uh, Thanksgiving Day Parade. Now, who you are in the metropolis of Van Wert. I mean, life is great for you. That's right. We're having a good time. We're having a great time showcasing our new Christmas record. And we want to do it everywhere from New York to Van Wert. That's great. Think about how God is uh, using you. Just ponder that for a moment. How does it make you feel to realize that? Uh, God really is using you guys in an incredible way. Mm, certainly humbling. You know, everything that we do comes out of what we go through personally. And if God wants to use that to impact people around the world, that's, that's fine with us. Anything coming up special that uh, the world should know about Mercy Me? Uh, some time off, actually. Yeah, we, <laughs> we have a handful more Christmas shows that we're going to be doing and then uh, just time at home with the families. It's going to be great. That's great. Great time of year for that. We are certainly thankful for your families that would send you off because it's a blessing to all of us. Um, one final question. Abby has a question for you in regards to your music video from Flawless. What was it like being covered in paint? Mm, cold. 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 Um, sticky. A little sticky. Yes, if, 
If you ever need to get latex paint out of your hair, you can use olive oil. Works great. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. It yeah, was fun. fun. <laughs> All right, you've heard it here. The paint was fun. You've seen that video on TV44 over and over again. We're certainly thankful for Mercy Me. Thank you for coming to Van Work, guys. Yeah, and we're so glad to have you here at the Nice Wonger Performing Arts Center. Well, thank you, Jennifer. It's time now for our latest Lost Creek Care Center stop in the kitchen. And today we have a last minute holiday dinner idea for you that involves bacon. In fact, only two ingredients total, bacon and potatoes. And we think that this is the type of recipe that any man can handle. And we kicked Jennifer out of the kitchen. And today, our guys right here, Matt and Andy, are here we to can conquer. Do it. You guys are ready to conquer bacon wrapped potatoes, right? If we can do it, anybody can do it, trust <laughs> me. We're about frozen pizza and that's it. Before we start, you want, you're, going to, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, let me do that. Ready. Let's right. preheat the oven. We've got that covered. You oh, don't okay. have to worry about Thank that. Thank you. So bacon wrapped potatoes, that's what we're doing. What we have here is the bacon. Lots of it. And then what we have is small, these small potatoes. These are actually small red potatoes. You can do them. Um, with regular potatoes as well, but do, the small ones are obviously going to be easier to wrap. And then my personal recommendation, this is a Martha Stewart recipe, and not that I think I know better than Martha. <laughs> well, but... <laughs> in some things, yes. What I would recommend is cutting these potatoes in half, okay. and so they're a little more manageable instead of a... I would recommend deep frying them in olive oil <laughs> and then adding cheese. <laughs> well, we can add on. <laughs> so Andy, you're going to cut the bacon, you're going to cut it crosswise first. So take us. Take a strip of bacon. Should I open my package here? Or you can just take this here. Sorry, I put a hole in. And you're going to cut it in half. Okay. Matt, here's the potatoes. <sighs> Thank Oops. you. We lost some. Because you, bacon is now on the floor. The good part's on the floor, my bad. <laughs> but we need some bacon to wrap, so cut it in half. Okay. And Matt, why don't Crosswise, you huh? cut a couple of potatoes in half as well, just... Well, that's not going to be long enough to wrap. You said half, right? Down the center, yeah. Oh, well, like, we'll just go like for it. Like rip it like that? <laughs> What does uh, crosswise mean exactly? We're already messing up. So if you have the bacon here. Why can't we just put the whole piece on there, Zach? You're going to just cut it right So I did that, right? Well, all right. So, Matt, grab one of these pieces of bacon that Andy is so eloquently yeah. chopping. <laughs> and you're going to wrap it around. And you're going to use a toothpick to hold the bacon on. All right. And you can wrap it both ways. We can actually take two pieces if you want and do a Let's second do it sideways. one. I think we should stop cutting. And so. Blanket. Yeah. We get another one. Yeah. yeah get another Sorry. one. Just it. And then take this toothpick and you're going to hold it on right there. And set mm. it on there. You can do a few of these. Multiple toothpicks. This is an easy last minute if you, if you have to go to a holiday party or you just didn't prepare something. No one's going to say no, or not many people are going to say no to a bacon wrapped potato. You know, at my wife's family Christmas, they wrap water chestnuts with bacon oh. and then they put barbecue sauce on it. Wow. So it's a similar, uh, that sounds similar good. idea. Yeah. Except the water chestnuts are horrible. <laughs> They're like crunchy. Have you had yeah. a water chestnut? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind them. Though. I oh, prefer man. potatoes with and bacon. barbecue sauce, that would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we could try that. I'm wrapping Please. with the entire piece of bacon. This is my <laughs> alternative. I, I, That's I fine. You get the Did extra bacon, wanna, right? Well, but your toothpick is going to help hold it on. Oh, I forgot about the toothpick. I wasn't so listening. I'll help you out here with the toothpicks. And so what you're going to do is do a few of these, line them up on your pan. Of course, we have the oven at 400 degrees, right? Yeah. The oven. Boy, it's, it's, it's getting hot. It's heating up right now. <laughs> and what you're going to want to do is place them in the oven, and it's going to be between 40 and 50 minutes. And the bacon is going to become crisp, and the potatoes, of course, will be soft and tender. And then you can pull that toothpick out and have them. So, you guys done? I think so. Yeah, we've done a great I job. Do. We do. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're as pretty as these ones right here. Oh, oh man. You know, finished product. Finished product here. And that oven see. was oh, it was really hot <laughs> down there. That see, wow. Yep, and they just right around the potato, and doesn't that look Can good? Can we try so them? So do we well, get to try them? Of course. Them? Those are huge. Well, that's why. So you didn't do these ones, did you? No. No. Maybe wrap them in a half. Oh, man. In half. Oh, I am in on these. Very good. good. Yeah. Real crispy. Perfect. I yeah. like my bacon a little well done. <laughs> it's like an inside out potato skin. Very true. Thank Some you. Some sour cream, maybe? No. You can add Don't whatever ruin it, you Matt. want to add. This, again, is courtesy of Martha Stewart. And you can find the recipe at mm. faithandfriends.wtlw.com. That's good. I mean, it's one Perfect. of the best uh, food segments I've been a part of, I, I think. So I think we've got two thumbs up, right? No bacon next week. <laughs> Well, thank you, Zach. Bacon potatoes looks pretty simple. and Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Your basic formula there.
Very good. Basic is good this, this week. It's a busy week. Well, earlier on the show, we brought you Oh Holy Night, sung by City of Bright and Hannah Schaefer. That video has been seen almost 20,000 times on the internet. It's just going to keep growing. And here's another local Christian singer who recently released her own Christmas video cover, Hannah Beck, singing I Saw Mommy Kissing the Santa Claus. And the guy who just made those bacon wrapped potatoes, watch for him. He'll be in there too. Well, Zach's got a little <laughs> bit of acting ability there. He's, oh. I don't know if he was really acting. I, I think he really does love his wife and well, kiss her on the cheek before they would go out for the evening. I do. That's very true. I also frequently tie ties and things, so it wasn't too hard. He ties my ties for me. They give them to me. It's, very, it's a good service. We had a lot of fun doing it. It was something that we wanted to do this Christmas season and do before we take off because, as you guys know, we have... Uh, announced that I have taken a position in Colorado Springs, Colorado with Focus on the Family and just here shortly um, in a week or so we will be moving to Colorado and so something we had fun with before we, we uh, take off. So Faith and Friends will have a bureau now in Colorado <laughs> Here we go, Springs. that's right. There's going to be three chairs here. You'll have to take a red chair with you, you know, have from your house. <laughs> I get Can you up. fit that in the, in the moving van? Well, we'll see, but I'll take, I might strap the red chair to the top and we'll do a few I think I, I think I just made a suggestion that could get <laughs> the rest of us in trouble. <laughs> but we are excited, and so we would ask for anyone's prayers out there, if you're uh, tuning in, that the move would go well. And just um, as we take this next stop or step where God is leading us, that um, he would show us the way and we would respond uh, to that. So prayers are appreciated. Definitely. Well, certainly. We wish you the best of luck, and thank, thank you, you for all your years of service to TV44. Nine. And Nine years he's been here at TV44. Thank you for your funding as our campaign continues, we're very pleased to announce that we have surpassed the $100,000 threshold Yay! as we continue to strive towards $175,000. That includes Mr. and Mrs. Gerald Store here in Lima. Thank you for your monthly gift, Mr. and Mrs. Larry Stevenson in Rockford. Uh, we're so thankful for those folks that, that have come on board. You've read yeah. number of names over those nine <laughs> years, gotten to know a number of the families that support TV44, and it is a special relationship we have with them. It is. It's pretty awesome to see over the years, like Jennifer said, nine years and, and longer of growing up here, seeing just the different people who are invested in 44, and we thank you for those who are continuing to invest, and even churches like the First Assembly of God right here in Lima. Thank you. It's, really, it's great to see churches seeing 
the ministry of TV44 and seeing the importance of it and getting on board. And so we're excited as our campaign continues on, guys. You know, we, I spoke with a woman at the Nice Wonder Performing Arts Center during that David Phelps concert. Well, during intermission. Nobody talks. Be rude Nobody talks when David's itself. singing. They're just, gonna be invited oh. back. <laughs> but she came up and she said, $175,000. How do you support an entire ministry for a whole year and 175000 Well, in reality, that is not our full budget. You know, so if you want to get us over that hump, we would okay. love it. We really do uh, require more money than that for to make things keep going. But this is a, a, a realistic amount that we feel that we can come to you, our viewers, and say, let's work together and, and, and raise this much money so that we can launch ourselves into 2016. And there's still time to make a financial gift that will be reflected on 2015 tax statements. Just make sure your donation arrives at TV44 or is postmarked by December the 31st. There are five easy ways that are convenient for you to give to TV44. You can donate by mail or in person at 1844 Beatty Road here in Lima, 45807. Donate over the phone with your credit card, very secure, at 339-4444. Online at WTLW.com, also secure. Or sign up for monthly automatic withdrawal by emailing contact at WTLW.com. I know I like to do a lot of my giving that way, just so I know it's coming out at the same time every month, and I'm helping support uh, something I believe in, like TV44. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now time for the scripture verse. For the last time on Faith and Friends, <laughs> ever, until we Skype them in from Colorado Springs. <laughs> Ever's a really big word. Yes, it is. Ever! You're going <laughs> to visit, knows? right? Who knew? I will absolutely visit, but yes. who knows what God has in store. But I will read the scripture for now, for the last time, <laughs> as we celebrate the birth of Christ during this week of Christmas. We go back to that unique setting in which our Savior was born. So Luke chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. That's our Savior, <laughs> Jesus Christ, who died for us, and Andy's gotten a hold of our friend here. But remember that this season, that Christ came as a baby, the most humble of ways, and he came for you and for me to die for us. <laughs> that wasn't a very good idea, gentlemen. He's talking about something serious. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, but I'm happy to have our friend on here with us one final time. <laughs> remember me by this. <laughs> it sure will. Um, well, that does it for us, <laughs> from all of us at Faith and Friends and everyone here at TV44. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Have a blessed week, and we'll see you next week.